Okay, we're still talking about converting repeating decimals to rational numbers. And in this video, I'm going to work through several examples of this. And I'm going to start off with one that I think is really interesting, and then I'll work through a few more that I think are a little bit more challenging that, that will be helpful to you to see. Here's the first example. Write 0 0.9 repeating as a rational number. So here we go. We say x is equal to 0 0.9 repeating. We note that there's one digit that repeats, so we multiply by 10. And we get 10x on the left, and when we multiply the right side by 10, we just move the decimal to the right one, one space. And so on the right, we have 9.9 .9 repeating. And then I'm going to say 10x minus x on the left is going to equal this minus that on the right. So I'll say 10x minus x on the left is equal to 9.9 .9 repeating minus 0.9 repeating on the right. And I'll subtract on both sides. 10x minus x is simply 9x. And on the right, when you do 9.9 .9 repeating minus the 0.9 repeating, you should see that the 0.9 repeating goes away and you're just left with 9. So 9x on the left equals 9 on the right. And saying 9x equals 9 is the same as saying x equals 1. And that's our answer. And a lot of people find that result a little bit surprising because we started off with x equal, equals 0.9 repeating and that's the same as saying it's 0.9999 9, 9, 9, and so on. Those 9's go on forever. And I'm telling you that that's the same thing as saying x equals 1 exactly. And there's proof right there. So 0.9 repeating seems like, it, it almost intuitively seems like it would be almost 1, but not quite. It's really close to 1, but not quite. Well, that's not correct. It turns out 0.9 repeating is exactly 1, and that's the proof. It's not 1, it's, it's not almost 1, or it doesn't simply approach 1. 0.9 repeating is exactly 1. And that's pretty cool. Whenever you get these nice, simple results like that, that's pretty neat. Okay, now I'll work through some more examples. In this example, we're told to write 1.5333 as a fraction, and the threes repeat. So here we go. I always start off with a variable, x equals 1.5333, and so on. There is a single digit that repeats, so I need to multiply by 10. 10x will equal this number with the decimal moved to the right one place. So 10x will equal 15.333 and so on. So now I'll subtract. I'll say 10x minus x is going to equal this minus that. So, and it's, I, I think, often helpful to write it vertically. 10x minus x on the left is going to equal 15.333 and so on minus 1.533 and so on. And I've written this very carefully. Remember when you're subtracting numbers like this, you, you write them so all the places are lined up. The decimal points are lined up and your ones and your tens are lined up on this side and your tenths and your hundredths and your thousandths are lined up on that side and if you write it neatly you can see what gets chopped off when we do the subtraction this 15.333 all those threes repeat and the minus 1.5333 all these threes repeat so you should be able to see that all of those and those go on to the right indefinitely all of those are going to cancel out when I subtract I can just wipe out all of those and I'm left with this 15.3 minus 1.5 and that's something that's fairly trivial to do 15.3 minus 1.5 let's see 3 minus 5 I can't do that but I can do I can borrow 13 minus 5 is 8 and then 14 minus 1 is 13 so 13.8 so on the left I have 9x and on the right I have 13.8 
so then I divide both sides by 9 and that leaves me with x is 13.8 over 9 and I want this written as a rational number which means I need a uh, integer on the top and on the bottom and right now I don't have an integer on the top because of that decimal point so I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom by 10 and that gives me 138 over 90 and 138 over 90 can be simplified a little bit both of those are even numbers so I'll divide them both by 2 uh, actually both of those are divisible by 3 so let's do that 138 divided by 3 is equal to 46 and 30 divided by 3 is I'm sorry 90 down here divided by 3 is equal to 30 and, and that can be reduced again both of those are even 46 divided by 2 is 23 and 30 divided by 2 is 15 and it can't be reduced any more than that so that's a fraction in simplest terms and that's my original number 23 divided by 15 and if I check that on the calculator, if I do 23 divided by 15, I should get 1.53, and then the threes repeat. So let's try that. 23 divided by 15, and there it is, 1.53333, and so on.